Welcome to Avery Dennison's Twitter, Learning the Basics. This is part of a series of quick training videos to empower you on our journey to get social. Twitter is a social media platform that allows users to share messages, moments, or ideas in real time in 140 characters or less. A tweet can include text, photos, and videos. For those Avery Dennison employees who tweet, most are doing so as individuals. However, many news organizations and companies like ours are also on the platform. In one word, Twitter's personality can be summed up as chatty. This channel is like being in the midst of a cocktail party, with snippets of conversations being shared and heard and repeated. Twitter likes to be the first to share the news, pass on a great photo, or respond to a question. While nearly 900 million people have signed up for Twitter accounts, less than 300 million are considered active meaning they're used on a monthly basis. About 40% of those on Twitter don't actually tweet. Rather, they're following news sources, organizations, and influencers to read what they are tweeting. 80% of those active Twitter users are on mobile, and they're sending out 500 million tweets every day. Active Twitter users flock to the platform, pun intended, because it's a quick and easy way to find out what's happening in their backyard or on the other side of the world. It's a place where they can give instant feedback and search for answers from companies or follow celebrities and newsmakers to feel a part of their lives and be in the know. For brands and companies like Avery Dennison, Twitter is a place to provide customer service and receive customer feedback, recruit and engage employees, distribute company news or crisis communication, track what our industry partners and competitors are up to, and see what is trending and top of mind for our customers. Let's start diving into Twitter with a quick overview of the lingo. Twitter is the platform itself. The noun tweet is the 140 characters or less message. The verb tweet is the action of sending out that message. Your profile displays information you choose to share publicly, as well as all of the tweets you've posted. A username is how you're identified and is always preceded by the at symbol. For instance, Avery Dennison is at Avery Dennison. When users want to read what you tweet, they follow you. Home is where your real-time stream of tweets from those you follow appears. Mentioning others in your tweet by including the at sign followed directly by their username is called a mention. While you can choose to run a Twitter account as an individual or on behalf of a business or brand, there isn't a difference in how you actually set up the profile, unlike with Facebook. The difference comes in how you establish your username and what you actually tweet. The getting started page is pretty basic. You just need to make sure you select a username you can live with. It's a bit hard to change. Once you're set up, you'll want to have a short and sweet profile description so people know what you're about and what you'll share. Here, you can have some fun with your profile photo, unlike the more serious LinkedIn. You can also upload a header photo that shows your personality, inspiration, or a nod to your brand. Under Settings, you can change security and privacy settings to lock down or expand who can see and engage with you on Twitter. You can also set up when you're alerted via email about tweets and activity or news and tips from Twitter. With your account set up, it's time to find some tweets, as those on Twitter are known, to follow. Using the search bar on the top right of your home, Look for businesses you love, people you know, celebrities, or news sources you read. Once you find a few of those, see who they follow and vice versa. It's a quick way to find other accounts. More options to find followers are under the Discover tab. You can browse accounts Twitter thinks might be of interest to you based on your profile, location, activity, and others you follow. Import your address book contacts to find out which friends are already on Twitter, or browse the most popular accounts by topic category. Once you follow a few people, news outlets, brands, and companies, their tweets will show up in a readable stream on your Twitter homepage called your timeline. Every time you log in, you'll have new messages to read. Click links and others' tweets to view articles, images, or videos they've linked to. If they mention other usernames, check out those Twitter accounts and consider following them too. For people and brands, Twitter's about showing your personality and sharing what you find interesting. When starting out, you can use existing information, like other people's tweets or links to news, articles, video, and photos, to find your own voice and show others what you care about. When you retweet messages you found in love, or at 
react reply with your reaction to a tweet you find interesting, others can find your messages and learn more about you. Mentions, when you reference others by their Twitter username, preceded by the at sign in your tweets, are a great way to engage. Using mentions can help you start new conversations, draw more eyes to your tweets, and help you think about what to write because you're chatting with one person. To help find specific content or to make sure your messages get found, consider using a hashtag. A hashtag is any word or phrase with the number symbol immediately in front of it. This symbol turns the word into a link that makes it easier to find and follow a conversation about that topic. It helps your content get curated and discovered. For example, when talking about Avery Dennison, hashtag AVY is used. Twitter users create and use hashtags around trends, themes, and industries, like hashtag automobile or hashtag graphic design, and for conferences or events they attend so that other attendees or customers can follow along on what's happening. Creating lists or subscribing to lists by others will allow you to declutter content you're consuming by looking at a targeted set of users. For example, say you only want to view content from influencers that work at Avery Dennison. Either set up your own list or find an existing list. In many cases, the list you're thinking of may already exist. Sometimes you may want to remember a tweet someone shared. That's where favorites come in which you can use by clicking on the small star icon in a tweet. Favoriting a tweet can let the original poster know that you like their tweet, or you can save the tweet for later. If you follow someone on Twitter and they follow you as well, you can send them a private message called a direct message. The 140 character limit still applies, but only the two of you will be privy to the content. To send a direct message, click the envelope icon to access your messages timeline. Tap the new message icon to create one. In the address box, type the username of the person you wish to send a message to and it will auto-populate. Write your message and click send. Think beyond words when you tweet, to visuals and links. You can give your followers an opportunity to see and learn something more by sharing a photo or link to broader content, like a blog, news article, graphic, or video. A few tips. First, be sure to show value and gratitude. Think about your followers and the information they'd find interesting and entertaining. Are people retweeting or replying to what you're sharing? If not, you might want to reconsider what's in your 140 characters. And be gracious. Thank people for follows and responses. Engage when they reach out to you. A little gratitude goes a long way to showing who you truly are. And who you are is more than just an automated feed of headlines. This is a place where you can build your personal brand. So let your voice come through. By allowing your personality to shine a bit, you'll find that organic growth of your audience will follow suit. And as you build that audience, make sure to leave room for the retweet. When people retweet your messages, it'll include your username. And that comes out of your 140 character count maximum. So think about keeping it succinct. Because as we know, brevity rules on Twitter. So be aware of being brief. 140 characters goes quickly especially when you're including links, hashtags, and mentions. Also be aware of being outdated. Being late to something on Twitter can often mean you're irrelevant. So if you want to establish yourself as a someone in the know and on top of the news, you'll need to keep tabs on what is happening and keep engaged on your feed. With customer service, you'll want to be sure you're set up to be alerted when someone asks for help, for a response, or makes a complaint. Replying expediently is often the difference between a happy and a dissatisfied customer. The very nature of Twitter means it's the channel that most closely resembles a real-time conversation. And like all conversations, they can sometimes lead to conflict. Be aware of getting into Twitter feuds with followers. If things start to get heated, take it offline, rather than hashing it out for the whole Twitterverse to see. Recently, Twitter's enhanced your ability to see what tweets you share that gain the engagement impressions, you can get a glimpse at analytics.twitter.com. We'll dive more into analytics and more complex uses of Twitter in the advanced series video. We'll continue to be your resource to help you imagine the possibilities of social media as we continue our journey to get social. Join the conversation and check out more tips, interactive training videos, and guidelines in the Get Social section of Our World.